All right, we thank you so much. Have you ever driven down I-15 near 33rd South and noticed those large egg-shaped structures They're on the so west side? Weird. Yeah. It's so weird, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of us have asked, what in the world are they? Yeah, so today, ABC4 Nate Larson has that answer for us, Nate. Yeah, we, we, they're odd shaped, of course, and, and some even say they maybe notice some smell. So we're actually here at the Central Valley Water Reclamation Facility. And so those are uh, some of the structures that are used to help treat wastewater. And believe it or not, those egg shell structures, they're called age, or egg digesters, and they take what we flush down the toilet to uh, convert uh, the methane gas that's emitted from it and use that energy to actually clean the wastewater here at the facility to smell the roses here at the Central Valley Water Reclamation Facility. We're number one in the number two business. <laughs> Central Valley is nearly double the size of any other reclamation facility in the state. The 30-year-old facility processes over 50 million gallons of wastewater per day. Right now the plant is rated for 75 million gallons per day and the process we're putting in right now will treat 84 million gallons per day so that's projecting future loads for about 30 years into the future. The site needs updating and is expanding to meet population growth, but also to remove phosphorus from treated water, which is a new federal standard. The nation plants have had to start removing phosphorus because it impacts the receiving waters and can create algae blooms. All of our water that's treated goes into Mill Creek, and then to the Jordan River and into Farmington Bay and the Great Salt Lake. The egg-shaped structures are called digesters and actually collect methane gas from sludge water, which then powers the plant. Sludge, which is the waste material off of our treatment process into, stays in there about 20 days and decomposes and generates methane gas. And so we harvest that methane gas and send it over to engine generators, which produce power, electrical power, and heat. It was surprising to see how much work goes into what we flush down the toilet. It opens their eyes and they really appreciate it. Yeah. And I just think it's not very well known or advertised and people don't see it. All the pipes are buried. You don't see those in the street and we're down here in a fairly contained location. So there's not a lot of people seeing what actually happens on the site. So so Central Valley is the largest reclamation facility in the state. They're eight years into this 10-year uh, renovation project. They're also $425 million into it with the price tag for it as well. Now the structural upgrades that they're going to uh, do are going to last for the next 60 to 100 years with some of the mechanical features lasting the next at least 30 years. Live at Central Valley, I'm Nate Larson. Back to you guys.